In 2022, the world faced numerous challenges including the invasion of Ukraine, the COVID-19 outbreak in China, economic inflation, climate change, and political tensions between China and the US. Despite these challenges, liberal countries in the West have demonstrated resilience. When Russian troops invaded Ukraine on February 24, the West provided support for Ukraine, despite Russia's expectations of a weak response. This resilience is a welcome surprise, particularly after a difficult year in 2021 which included a withdrawal from Afghanistan. In fact Volodymyr Zelensky and his people affirmed that self-determination and liberty are worth dying for. They became an inspiration. After an upsurge in popular support, Western governments threw their weight behind democracy's new champion. Led by the Biden administration, the West is providing arms and aid on a scale even hawks had not imagined. In 2022, the Ukrainian government and its people demonstrated their commitment to self-determination and liberty, inspiring support from Western governments. Led by the Biden administration, the West provided significant military and financial aid to Ukraine. In their own countries, voters in the West also rejected extremist candidates and supported centrist parties that upheld fundamental rights, such as the right to abortion in the US. In France, Emmanuel Macron, a centrist, defeated Marine Le Pen, a far-right candidate. Even in Italy and Britain, where far-right and populist parties gained power, they moderated their positions and moved towards the center. In 2022, democratic countries have shown resilience in the face of challenges, while autocratic countries have faced internal strife and resorted to violence to maintain control. In particular, Russia and Iran have faced protests and responded with force, including shooting female protesters in the face, breasts, and genitals in Iran. As a result of their violent response, the leaders of these countries have lost the trust of their people and must rely on force to maintain power. In 2022, Chinese leader Xi Jinping consolidated his power and became the most powerful leader in China since Mao Zedong. However, his efforts to address economic issues by cooling the property market and restricting technology and COVID-19 have had negative consequences for the economy. Additionally, the Chinese government's slow response to the spread of COVID-19, including a failure to adequately vaccinate the elderly and prepare for the needs of critically ill patients, has had serious consequences. In 2022, despite efforts to suppress them, protests in China were fueled in part by the perception that other countries were handling the COVID-19 pandemic better. The resilience of liberal countries in the West is a positive development, but the challenges of the year have also highlighted deep divisions and led to a trend towards larger government. The global response to the events of 2022, including the conflict in Ukraine and the COVID-19 pandemic, has revealed significant divisions between countries. While the US received widespread support after the September 11th attacks in 2001, many countries have chosen to remain neutral in the conflict over Ukraine. In a recent UN vote to reprimand Russia, 35 countries abstained. Some countries feel that the West treats its own concerns as global principles, while issues such as war in Yemen or the Horn of Africa or climate-related disasters are viewed as regional problems. Liberal values are facing challenges in many parts of the world. Despite the defeat of Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil, democracy is under threat in Latin America. In Turkey, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is facing economic problems and pursuing political opponents ahead of the 2023 election. In Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is trying to avoid corruption charges by forming a coalition with the far right. Indonesia adopted a criminal code in December that restricts sexual freedom and free speech and promotes religious orthodoxy. In India, while the economy is strong, politics are majoritarian and cruel. Around the world, the concept of limited government is under threat. Governments are using industrial policies and economic intervention, including trade barriers and subsidies, to address energy and security concerns and support domestic industries. This trend towards economic nationalism has been fueled by the COVID-19 pandemic and a shift in public expectations of the state. However, large-scale government intervention in the economy has a history of leading to waste and rent-seeking. Inflation, caused in part by poor fiscal and monetary policies, is currently high, and it is questionable whether giving politicians and officials more control over the economy is a wise decision. Overall, 
2022 has been a challenging year in terms of the liberal values of limited government, individual dignity, and faith in human progress. However, there is hope for the future. In the past, the West has been arrogant and paid the price for its mistakes, such as the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and the global financial crisis of 2007-09. In 2022, after facing challenges from populism and China's rise, the West has shown resilience. 